sometimes the, patient, the athlete will experience uh, some severe symptoms. So like I said, the, uh, the headache, the confusion, the nausea, the fogginess. But some athletes will kind of get what they call maybe like a bell ringer or something like that where the symptoms abate rather quickly. But a true concussion, those symptoms linger and slowly get better over time. And that could be a process of a week or two or sometimes months in all reality. A lot of times they're not really sure what's happened and they don't they don't know why they feel so bad and they get into the classroom and they, you know, the screens make their, them sick or have worse headaches um, or they are light sensitive or noise sensitive and by the time they get to me they're like, I have all these symptoms, I don't, I don't really know what's going on with this. What we do in that situation is we go ahead and have them um, rest and decrease their screen time and their activity and by doing those things and sometimes starting some medications and sometimes vis uh, vestibular physical therapy, they start to really dramatically improve. But it's until they know what to do and what this actually is that they, they feel horrible and they, they feel like something's wrong, I can't pinpoint it.